In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips about transitions when you have a conversation. When, like the scene on the screen, it splits between two people, and you have the gal of the white phone, the guy in the blue shirt, and the scene goes back and forth between the two of them talking on the phone. Oftentimes, the very best transition in this kind of setting is none because it works really good. It keeps the speed and pace of the conversation up. It keeps the viewer uh, attached to what's going on. But there may be some times when you'd like to try a little bit of a transition. If you do, let me give you some tips. Number one tip is this. Be concerned about length of the transition. Now you control the length of the transition in your settings. I'll, I'll click on the user preferences gear at the top and then click on editing. And over here, I get to control my transition length for any transition I drag down. Uh, most defaults is set to uh, 3 or 4. I'll put 4 in right now and click on OK. And let me take a transition that you might want to use in this situation. I'm going to go to my transitions room. I can press the F8 key or click on the lightning bolt icon on the left. And with all the content selected, I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to go to a simple wipe. And I'll take and drag that between uh, these two first cuts here. Now notice what happens with a four second transition as I go ahead and play it in my movie. I didn't actually slow the movie down but because the transition is so long, it really sucked all the energy out of the scene. Uh, it, it, it takes no longer for the actors to say what they're saying and the scene to play, but it's much too long. So one of the ways you can do that is you can change them individually. I'll click on it, click on Modify, and I, I can go over here and lower it down. My preference is no longer than a second. And then I've, I've reduced it to that. And at this rate here, when I go ahead and play this wipe, uh, it's a lot better. It's not quite as intrusive in the flow or feel of the scene. The other thing I like to do with a transition, besides keep them short, is I tend to like to go vertical rather than horizontal. And in your wipe, you have an op option of four directions, up, down, left, or right. And so if I click on this one, I think it's more natural with people to go from one side to the other than top to bottom. And so I like that wipe right there. That's not too bad. Uh, the other one that even, even more subtle would be the one that's uh, simply called Wipe Soft. I'll drag that down here. And again, I didn't change my defaults. Let me undo that with Control Z. I'll go back for now, and you can change the defaults as often as you want. That's one thing I like about PowerDirector. I'll just change my default transition to one second. Click on OK. So if I'm going to do a lot of them, I'd rather not change them manually. So I'll take the wipes off, drop it here, and now I have a transition. I want to also change it, though, uh, so it's uh, right or left. We'll go ahead and click on it. And now we have our second transition, a smoother wipe, but it really doesn't get in the way of the conversation. Now, some of these transitions draw too much attention to themselves. There's two others that I would use from time to time, and uh, it would be sliding lines. You could use the horizontal. Again, I'm a fan of the vertical, so I'll take the sliding lines vertical and drop it over here, and it's going to be a second long, and I can use it this way. So I, when I click my play key, it kind of separates the two. And in this case, because there's a little more visual action, I might even shorten this down to less than a, a full second here. I might make that a half second long because I don't want the transition to take away from the flow of the theme. Uh, you can try the horizontal one too. Uh, that isn't too bad, but there's one complication with it. I'll play it and you might see it. It's actually a two-stage expansion here. I'm going to go ahead, in this case, we'll make it longer so you can see the difference. So let's go up to uh, five seconds. And then you'll see the difference here between the horizontal and vertical one. And when I click here, you'll notice it will expand once, 
freeze and then continue. But even in uh, the short uh, the short distance of a second in your timeline, uh, it will tend to slow it down. So of the three that I prefer to use when I want something besides a straight cut, uh, I tend to use the wipe or the wipe off or sometimes the sliding lines. You might find some that you, you think help the conversation move forward without being uh, too distracting. And again, oftentimes the very best thing you can do for transitions in a conversation is simply nothing. Just have a straight cut uh, from one actor or actress to the other and it keeps everything moving forward quite well. But there are some transitions that work as well. 